Welcome back to the Let's Play. Let's get straight to building. Cause that's all I want to do right now. Expand our house. This is episode 6 of our island survival on our Let's Play. Episode 571 in the whole series. But let's take a look here. Why is there a fish? Who tur- Wait. Forgot to restock the fire. It went out. But when I look at my little house here, that's a little too little. So let's make it not little. Let's put a mast sticking out of this part. Yeah, a mast from a boat. Because I am building out of bamboo, but we also scavenge materials from the ocean. So I'm imagining a sideways mast from a big boat sticking out here. It's gonna have the crossbeam and everything, and maybe even a crow's nest. I'm gonna give it a try. I gotta use the bathroom. Okay, I made the mast. Hope it doesn't look too out of place. It's not finished yet. Oh, I kind of like it. I'm going to add some tattered rags beneath it to make it look like, well, the sail is still somewhat hanging on. Oh, that's cool. And it was really hard actually to create this slanted look. You just gotta keep playing around with the blocks. But each of those pillars are four blocks long and then I add a stair on top and bottom. And this is a mixture of dark oak slabs and spruce logs. Okay, let's add the sail, then we can set sail. Not really. What do I, eat? oh wait. I need a white block with stairs and, okay, this will work, I guess. We have some tattered rags on it now. Oh yeah. Oh, that turned out pretty good. Whoa, that is really cool. <laughs> I love that I did this. Yeah, there's not really much of a point. You might be wondering why on earth would I go through the effort of standing up a mast in my house. But as we build it up, maybe it'll have a purpose of holding up the rest of the house. Yeah, maybe I might build that high. Who knows? But I gotta say, it's pretty cool looking. I didn't really have an idea for a bird's nest. Maybe I will up top there. But while we're in the groove of building the house, let's go ahead and expand this section. I kind of want to build up. Got a staircase here now. Our mast is looking good, but I've been working on something else. That's my bridge. <laughs> so I wanted to make a bridge over the powdered snow because it's almost impossible to get up here. You saw this is powdered at the bottom. So I wanted to make some sort of like stilted pathway to get over it. Very handmade, got some broken spots in it right here, for example. Someone fell and died in the snow. I uh, even made a little bit around here to get up to a lookout point. I like this. Kind of like an Ewok in a tree. Remember my nomadic survival series? I built like Ewoks in the trees before, that was so fun. It looks a little wiggly, but I do, it's really hard to make this slant without the wiggles. And I changed that up, by the way, it looks better. But anyway, yeah, this is going to, wait, you're missing a horn. Did you drop it? Anyway, as you can see, I'm making a path through here, and this is where it's going to lead. We're gonna have a little base of operations, and right here, I wanna have a Christmas tree. I guess they spawn with one horn sometimes. Ram me. You know you want to. Is this a hard enough material? What the heck? But I'm gonna spice up this pathway a bit. I don't think this stuff melts from torches, but this one will. We're gonna make some sort of nice base camp up here. And yes, I'm putting up my Christmas tree early because I already did in real life. Rammy. Yeah, just do it. Rammy. Rammy. <sighs> oh, there you go. Uh, I guess it's not hard enough. <laughs> okay, I decided against building my own custom tree because screw that. It's tough. <laughs> but I want to try to grow. Oh, is that it? No, it's not. I wanna grow my own mega tiger tree, but the one where it starts right here, you know? The one that grows. It's like a perfect Christmas tree, honestly. It's a nice size. I'm assuming to get this one though, I need to get rid of all these snow layers. <coughs> By the way, be very careful if you ever build in an area like this where there's a lot of powdered snow. If you break this block and the water goes rushing down the hill, it destroys all the powdered snow and you can't get it back. And it really sucks because it happened over there, but I just covered it with normal snow blocks. Okay, so I'm probably gonna be here for half an hour. <laughs> I, oh, I need saplings. There we go. I say that because I'm most, I guarantee I'm not gonna get the tree I want until like 20 trees later. That'd be awesome if it was first try, no. Or, ooh, I like the height of that. It's pretty big and majestic. Or I can just build the leaves down. Okay, I'm gonna do that instead. That looks better. Maybe, I could make it wider down here. But if you notice, this tree is two blocks wide and that's not gonna fly. It's not gonna fly because we need to put a star up here. It needs to be one block wide. So we can do a nifty little trick and make it look like the star is heavy and slowly making 
the tree bend a little as it goes up. There we go. See that slight tilt it adds? I just slowly kind of taper off each block. And once I put a star up there, it'll look like it's kind of leaning to the right a little bit because the star is so heavy. Speaking of, I'm going to use glowstone because we didn't know. We don't have any resources out here like I do back at home. The only light blocks that are available to me are glowstone. Or I can get that block from the crimson and warped forest. Either way, I need to go to the nether real quick. Hey, you wanna give me some good stuff? Hurry up, I don't got all day. Eh, could do better. Come on, you know what I'm here for. No, give me the good stuff. That ain't it, come on. Okay, okay. Soul speed three, not bad. Leather, I like that. Come on, I don't have my dealer Jasper, like back at home, so I gotta rely on these guys. No. No. Where, where are you going? Oh wait, is that a thing they do? Do they run? I thought he saw like a- Oh no, okay, he just- That was weird. <laughs> I thought he just had enough of my trades. Oh god. Wait, what? Why are you shooting me? Why are you shooting me? What did I do there? I opened my own shulker box. And I know, some of you guys don't like the idea that I use my shulker box. I just brought it for safety, now I'm kind of abusing it. Yes, this is a fresh restart, but you gotta remember, I'm still in the same world, so it's just kind of handy to use. I'm getting distracted. I came here for that. <laughs> get out of my house. Get out of my house. Hey, get out of my house. Oh, white fox. What do you have? What is that? Oh, can I have that? There you go. Okay, for the star. I think I'm just gonna use normal glowstone. I forgot to also use redstone lamps, because I'm gonna dot in glowstone throughout the tree, and I guess some redstone lamps to change it up a bit. Thing is, is I don't have a lot of dye options on this island, so I can't have a bunch of colorful ornaments, probably. Ooh, I could probably do like gold and emerald block. Don't have a lot of that either. Uh, oh, that was close. There's my star. Yeah, see, that don't even look half bad. It's very simple, but I think it looks good. Okay. Now to dot in these redstone lamps, I am going to do, I guess this, that'll be fine. Yeah, those will go fine. That's not too bad. It's pretty basic. I could add some color in, but even that on its own is pretty nice in my opinion. I'll probably go look down in my chest to see what different colored blocks I could throw in there. I'd like to get a red block and cover this area down here and actually put some presents under here. There's no Grinches around. Is there? Creepers? I guess not. Yeah, netherrack. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Let's throw some presents under here. Sure, there's one. Looks nice. There's one too. Gotta have some pots. Another chest. Another chest. Another pot. Another barrel. Another chest. And another pot. There we go. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's it, it works. That's my Christmas tree. Is that like goofy? No, no, I like the taller ones in the back. I love giving them their own personalities. Like I said last episode, they all look different. <laughs> Maybe I could make a fat one. Eh, your nose needs to be longer, buddy. There we are, our little collection of tiki heads. So far, I added a couple in, specifically Pathfinder and Dakota Martin. I'll thank them at the end of the episode with the rest of my donors because you guys are some crazy generous people. Ah, you know what? I kind of like this. This is cool. <laughs> it's like my little side, like I said, my side hobby. Come over here to carve. You know what? I think it would look cool to do something similar to what I did, but build the actual tiki head out of this, you know? Yeah, there we go. See? I built the actual tiki head, but it's ready to, you know, slap some mortar on it around the bamboo rebar. <laughs> Just move these over there. Voila. I'm just building again, so I do want to expand my house upwards and I'm just trying to be unique with it, so I'm building like a cylinder shape, like this. I have no idea what I'm trying to do here, don't even know what's going to be on. You know what? I think I want to hang a crane off and make it look like I lift supplies into my house. Because why not, you know? It's Minecraft. By the way, mushroom stew sucks. 
<laughs> it's just like, I feel like it should saturate you as much as steak or pork, but it doesn't. And instead of crane, I build some sort of silo. <laughs> ah, the thing is, is like, this is so high up, it's hard to build the roof on these things. No, that works. Maybe I could turn this into a little room. Maybe I'll do that. I need to strip some of the logs too. It kind of looks cool. I like it. Okay. I made another one. <laughs> why? I, I, I like the look of them. That's literally the only reason why. And they're not actually silos that would store grain or anything like that. They're actually rooms. I think they're kind of fitting. I don't know if I should put windows in them or not. I have this one just right here. Um, they're actually the perfect size for an enchantment setup, which kind of sucks because this is like a cool spot for one, but that was the whole purpose of building it here. In this one, I kind of have to get on the roof to get in, but I don't know, what should I put in these? I'm sort of just doing that thing where I build my house up, but don't really use the rooms for anything. It's a gloomy day out now, but we must continue building. And I'm building another, <laughs> as you can see back there, another one of these. This one's just sticking out of the ground in the background. I think I want it to be a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna add a second cross beam, probably above the larger one, just do a shorter one. I don't know, I just like the idea of a bunch of these masts sticking out of the ground for whatever reason. Might make this one one taller. Gotta be careful here. Got powdered snow. <laughs> so quiet up here. This is how I do it, by the way. I set up the stairs like that. Then I do one, two, three, four. Did I ever show you with this one? Yeah, I did. I forgot. No. Ah, uh, scaffolding sucks. Oh, yes. That is perfect. Oh, man. Oh, I love that so much. All I really care about is how it looks from back here. Yeah, I like that. It's a little hidden. What's that sound? Probably me walking. Yeah, it's a little hidden, but it's back there and you'd kind of understand what it is. I'm probably even gonna put more around the island, but especially when you walk up right here, that's just such a cool look. I'm gonna go ahead and add some rags hanging off this one too, but I'm gonna make these ones a little bit more sparse. All right, there we go. Turned out pretty good. I didn't go so heavy on the sails on this one because these are old ships. I don't even know how to put these in the ground, don't ask. Maybe I found them here like this. Maybe a giant, you know what, that would have been cool. Oh, uh, like get rid of that. I'm not gonna get rid of that. Actually, I could stay there. Although it does look a little out of place now, now that I look at it. What if I built a giant's head? Oh my gosh, that would be, oh. I'm getting so many ideas now. Like a giant skeleton, it'd be like the head and its shoulders sticking out of the ground, but he stabbed these masts in this island. Maybe he was fortifying it in some way. Would it look better if I did more of these around the island, specifically around the house? Maybe one sticking over here, or... I've had a few suggestions to put crashed ships on the shore. I could definitely do that. Or I could even just put, yeah, like lay some masts hanging <laughs> on the edge, you know? Either way, there's so m oh, there you are. There's so many possibilities here. I was looking for you. Are my fish still doing good? Well, I'm gonna do whatever I do next. Let's answer the comment question of the day. Um, 93, or UM 93. <laughs> when do you think you are leaving this island and heading back home? Well, I ask, why do you ask? Do you prefer my other home more? See, I don't wanna bring my dog up here because what if he falls in the snow? I'm kind of on that grind here where I'll stay here until I get bored. Simple as that. I kind of want some masts up here. Okay, I need to leave the masts alone. I'm getting too <laughs> heavy. Wow, it actually feels cold up here. Maybe it's the ice. I don't know. The way RTX works up here. I like my Christmas tree. How can I improve my Christmas tree? I do need to put some color in it. I need to decorate around here more. Maybe I can put a giant fireplace or something. Still got a bunch of land back here to work with too. Oh yeah, common question. Yeah, but yeah, I guess quite simply that, just when I get bored. Um, I'm having a blast right now. It's just different from what we're used to. And I'll probably stick around here for probably for maybe another 10 episodes. Who knows? That's just my expectation. It's rather hard to say. Like our old Stone Mountain base, I loved that place. But I was so interested in the lab at that time that I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Oh wait, when I was making the Stone Mountain base, I remember making a video out there called Minecraft and My Thoughts. And I was having a really weird episode with Minecraft. Like not episode like this, but episode in general in my life where 
I was struggling to come up with ideas and stay interested. So I just headed back home and it like fixed everything. I just missed it that much. But luckily I haven't approached that feeling yet here. I'm, I'm just enjoying Minecraft. My home is there waiting for me and it'll always be there waiting for me, hopefully. <laughs> Unless it just bugged out. I'll tell you what though, I cannot wait for these. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I love those. But I cannot wait for these trial spawners. It's going to be a while before this update releases, but hopefully they start adding stuff to experimental features, not the beta. Remember, experimental features is different. Experimental features is in this base game. The beta, you have to download a whole other version of Minecraft. I'm sure they will down the road, hopefully soon, because I want to play with the new stuff. But hey, everyone, thanks for watching this fun little episode. I feel like I always ended out here on these docks. Oh, it's just so pretty out here. Look at this. Come here, Rexford. Oh my gosh. When am I not going to drool over RTX? I am not sure. I am not sure at all. I forgot I took this out of my big canoe here. Maybe I leave once I make... Wrong way. Maybe we make ourselves a giant bamboo boat. Like a very homemade looking pirate ship. And once that is complete, that is when we head home. Straight. Okay. Jesus. Just stay there. I want to thank some donors, of course. Nicholas J. Thank you very much for your donation. Very much appreciated. Liam Carey. You could be related to Jim Carey. Or does he spell his last name with two R's? I'm not sure. Something to think about. I mean, come on. <laughs> thank you for your donation, though. Cordera Jones Jr. Thank you for your donation, too. Charles Brown donating for, like, the fourth time while I'm on this island. You are a madman, and I like you very much for helping out my channel. Jaker Man. Say your real name. No, I think... On PayPal, you can <laughs> make your own name however you want. That'd be cool, though. Thank you, Jaker. That is kind of you as well. Pathfinder MC back with another donation. Specifically to be put on a tiki head. And I got you on a tiki head, Pathfinder. That's you. That's what you look like. <laughs> so, technically, your villager back in the tree living at home, this was his ancestor, probably. Or your ancestor. But Pathfinder, my man, you're like one of my OG viewers, and you've been doing a lot for this channel, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Hunter Staggs, for your donation, too. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Charlie Howard, with a pretty big dono, too. That is very generous of you. And David Miller, that seems familiar. Have you donated? Yeah, you have. I'm sure you have. Thank you, David. Jesus, you guys are just all so crazy. <laughs> Brandon Colbreath, back again. I think you left a message saying your breath was cold or cool. So that's cool. Cold breath. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. And Dakota Martin, with a massive donation, who made it on one of these as well. Boom shakalaka. There you go, Dakota. You also made it in the villager book. Ooh, copper. Why did I leave that here? There's still a lot of ores around these stone beaches I haven't gathered yet. Might as well gather them now. I got a good pickaxe. But guys, the support from last episode and the donos and everything has just been so crazy. I appreciate it so much. Christmas can be a stressful time for me and every donation is so thoughtful and they definitely don't go unnoticed. I never knew this would be such a big part of my channel, but with the way YouTube works today and how my channel's doing, it is pretty nice to be able to receive support from the viewers that still want to see my content. You guys are some awesome individuals. Man, I would love to mine an RTX sometime. This is kind of nice. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to continue mining. Oh, I left my dog on the dock again. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode, everyone. Thanks for watching. And thanks for your support. Bye-bye.